guys, welcome back to another episode of Guns and Guitars, and we've got a real treat for you guys today. Uh, we're gonna be looking closely at this Bushnell Forge long range rifle scope. These scopes are designed to be shooting way out there, eight, 900, even a thousand yards. So if you're looking for a good budget option to really reach out and touch something, this might be a good fit. We're gonna find out. I've enlisted the help of my buddy Garrett, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. Let's get started. This is my buddy Garrett. He works for a local law enforcement agency and he is an extreme long range shooter. And in fact, he actually just got back from competing in the Vortex Extreme long distance shooting competition, right? And out of about 79, 80 shooters, you came in around 13. 13. Yeah. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Needless to say, far more qualified to be shooting long distance than me. You guys know that I am more of a short range run and gun type shooter. Um, he actually knows all the math and science equations to really reach out there. So he's going to help me test out this rifle scope. Now this rifle scope, um, it starts at about $800. Now you guys might be thinking, what the heck is an $800 scope doing on my channel? You guys know my uh, mission statement more or less, spend less, play more. Um, and so this seems like it's a really expensive option. But when we compare it to something like this, what is this, Garrett? Uh, this is a Calls K525i. It's uh, more of a competition-based option. Okay. And similar features to this Bushnell? Yeah, very similar. They both uh, feature zero stop. Uh, that one actually has lockable turrets. This one does not. But um, you got your adjustable parallax and uh, okay. first bubble plane and a really nice red pole in both optics. Okay, cool. So definitely comparable. Um, how much does that optic run you? Uh, anywhere between $3,200 and $3,600. Okay, so now you can obviously see how this is a good value. So we're looking at very similar rifle scopes. This one comes in at about $800, depending on what options you choose, right? So we're going to go ahead and just kind of put them head to head and see how well this one holds up against that one. Something else that you guys should probably know about Garrett, he actually builds and mods and customizes his own rifles. So he's heavily modified both these to really be super accurate long range shooters. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? Cause it is a bit of an odd rifle. It is odd. Yeah. So this actually started out as a factory Ruger American. I had laying around, cut the barrel off and uh, crowned and threaded it. So it's a uh, 16 and a half inches put in the Magpul Hunter stock. Um, Cerakoted the action, and the bolt, which I don't have in it right now, is uh, the bolt. Yeah, fluted the bolt on uh, my CNC machine and added a muzzle brake and decided to have a little fun with it. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and, and try zeroing it on this first and see what we can do with it, and then maybe we'll toss it on this one and see if we can really reach out there. Perfect. All right. set in the zero stop per the instructions in the manual. So I took the turret cap off with the three Allen keys on that. There's three Allen keys using the same wrench inside here. Loosened it, I dropped to the bottom, tightened them up and that's supposed to set the zero stop. It's not bad. First, first round hit. Yep. Not bad at all. Is that two, two for two? Yep. There we go. I was giving it too much wind. All right, so we're trying it out on this experimental setup with a, you know, chopped down 308 and uh, pretty good results. How, how yeah. far out did we shoot? We ended up uh, making good impacts on steel out to 560 yards. Okay, yeah, um, not the, too bad. Yeah, the clarity on the scope out to that range was really good, good enough to see the mirage and make good wind calls. Okay. And so, yeah, I was very happy with the performance. Dialed up on every elevation, there was no holdovers, um, and it went right where it was supposed to. Now, what do you say we go ahead and toss that thing on this bad boy? What, Perfect. tell us about this rifle. Yeah, so this is a Ruger Precision Rifle. It replaced the barrel uh, with a 20 inch barrel. It's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and other than that, it's all just bolt-on accessories that that work well and help me shoot comfortably. And uh, it's a tack driver. Okay, so. cool. So 6.5 Creedmoor. Yeah. How far out do you think we can shoot with this one? Um, 
well out past 1,300 yards and further, okay. further than we have steel well, set up. How, how so, far is our steel set up today? How about 900. That? About 900 yards. Okay, yeah. so let's see if we can ring steel at 900 yards using this bad boy. All right. So the rifle zeroed with the Bushnell Forge on it. We're going to move over to do a tall target test, which allows us to calculate how much error there is in the elevation adjustment and input that into our ballistic software. So now I'm gonna dial up 20 minutes. zero percent error so that tracks perfect so by dialing up 20 minutes we should have had 21.7 inches between the two groups at this range and that's almost exactly what we have so for a scope with this price point it's almost unheard of to have zero error in elevation so we don't have to calculate for any error whatsoever we can just dial it up and shoot it you hit Hit. Yep, the wind switched directions. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Gosh, that's way out there. There it is again. Dang. Nice shooting, man. All right, so we just shot out, rang the steel two times in a row at 900 yards. Right. Yep, so now uh, now that we've changed the elevation all over the place, we're gonna dial it back down to zero, make sure it shoots in the exact same spot, and if it does that, then uh, this is a fantastic view. That's perfect. So, That's what you did. Yep, down here at a little over 100 yards. This is a six shot group first shot, I don't know if you can see it, there's two shots right here. One was the first shot from the tall target test, and the second hole in there is the first shot from returning to zero. This is the second one. Uh, I pulled that one, and then the third one landed right in here, so the, it came back to zero perfectly. Absolutely no flaws. All right, Garrett, now that you've done all the hard work, gotten it all zeroed in and set up, I think it's okay for me to try to take some shots. Up. Oh, there's the target. I see him now. All right. So now that I can see the target, I'm screwed up because I didn't put a round in. Put it in and then dial up. Oh, I should probably dial up first, huh? Yeah, okay. yeah dial up. And then, uh, All right, and I'm so going up eight, to eight. eight. Yeah. Gosh, I'm such a noob. Yeah, All right. Chamber your round and you'll be ready to rock and rock. All right, and you said with the rain and the wind, I should probably be just right of center? Okay. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I was caught off guard by how freaking rad that trigger is. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't have any triggers that sweet, so. There you go. Oh, that was a hit. Yep. I got it. Sweet. So that wound is just left edge. So that was what, 460? That was 460. 460. Yeah. That's the furthest I've ever hit a target in my whole life. So I'm dialing this up to 21.25. All right. Yep. Okay, so I have two sure. shots to try to hit 900 yards. So we did 460. We have a target at 560, but we're just going yeah. straight out to 900. Be prepared for me to miss. Oh, looked a little high and a little left. So I hit a little... Elevation was good, but it was further left. Little left. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay, you can give me a couple more tries? Okay, good. 
Gosh dang, just barely though. Literally the last round. Oh, that just high. It. Shoot. Close. Well, didn't quite do it. See, there's a reason why I enlisted Garrett. He's much better at this than I am. All right, unfortunately, the wind is picking up and we're having some rain and there's just a storm blowing in. So our shooting session has kind of gotten cut short a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I'm bummed I was never able to hit the 900 yard gong, but I did hit 460 yards. That is a new personal record for me. So I'm super in love with the scope. I think it's pretty good. Now, as a seasoned long distance shooter and you know we're comparing it to this you know about three thousand thirty five hundred dollar calls kales whatever you call right. it scope a scope that is four to five times the price with similar features do you think that it is four to five times better i'd say it does a handful of things better but this is definitely competitive um i have we hadn't had any long-term use with this but in, based on today's performance, I would have no qualms in using it uh, daily. So, so if you showed up at a, at a competition with this and the other guys were shooting this, would you feel like you were at a major, major disadvantage? No, absolutely not, because this did everything we wanted it to do. Okay, awesome, Garrett. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to follow Garrett on all of his long-distance shooting adventures, he does have an Instagram page. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description. It is NAZ Long Range Shooters. Okay, so definitely check him out on Instagram. He's a stellar shooter. Uh, follow his adventures as he enters in more. You got more competitions yeah, a coming up more this year, and okay. then some booked for next year. So. Cool. I'm I'm super excited for you, man. Thank all you right, so much. Thank you. All right, I'm Dan. This is Garrett. This is Guns and Guitars. We'll see you in that next video.